Oklahoma has been a state for nearly 120 years, but did you know that the journey to statehood actually began in Frederick? In our first installment of our new This is Oklahoma series, we look back at President Theodore Roosevelt's trip to southwest Oklahoma and how that laid the groundwork for the Sooner State. So it was by no accident. The president in uh, December of the, of the year before had been talking to his southwest advisor, Colonel Lyon, in the Oval Office. And the colonel had told him about a man in the southwest part of Oklahoma Territory that caught wolves alive with his hand. And the president was taken by this. That man, Jack Abernathy, a man President Teddy Roosevelt was determined to meet. So in April of 1905, the president arrived in southwest Oklahoma by train. After greeting 5,000 people in the Fredericktown Square, Roosevelt, along with Abernathy, Quanta Parker, and a host of others, set out on a five-day wolf hunt near the Deep Red Creek, a few miles east of town. On the first morning of the hunt, the president got a first-hand look at Abernathy's unique ability. Abernathy spurs his horse into a dead run, the president following close behind. Abernathy gets alongside the wolf, slides off the front of his horse at a full run, grabs the wolf in a cloud of dust. The president dismounts his horse and when the dust clears, there's Abernathy standing with his wolf in his hand, hand shoved to the back of the wolf's throat, rendering him unable to move and not bite. The president says, that's the darndest thing I have ever seen. And I will have you know, I have seen some things in my life. And sir, when you get your hand free, I'd like to shake it. It was the first of 17 wolves the group caught. When the hunt was over, the president, again greeted by the townsfolk and pleased that he was allowed to hunt in peace, made them a promise. Southwest Oklahoma Territory in North Texas was really concreted into the president's mind at that point. He knew what it was about and he knew what the people were about. So on the 13th, when he left, he promised one thing. He said, Oklahoma will be a state. And if it's not, it will not be my fault. Two years later, in November of 1907, Oklahoma officially became the 46th state and the only to gain statehood in President Roosevelt's tenure. The famous wolf hunt is now memorialized with a monument just east of Deep Red Creek. Roosevelt's relationship with Abernathy extended to his two sons. And in 1910, at just 10 and 6 years old, the two young boys rode horseback all the way to New York at the president's request. The Abernathy boys were invited to come along and be in the presidential ticker tape parade. There's a president in his, in his uh, convertible, the Abernathy kids right behind him, and then Roosevelt's Rough Riders and the rest of the parade. Legendary. You can learn more about the Abernathys and the President's Wolf Hunt by visiting the Pioneer Town Site Museum in Frederick Tuesdays through Saturdays from 1130 in the morning until 230 in the afternoon. And if you have a This is Oklahoma story idea, send it to me via email or social media. For 7 News Now, I'm Kyle Weatherly.